Hi there, welcome to VA Consulting Pro. Since the inception of ChatGPT and Microsoft Fabric, I'm getting one question constantly. Is Power BI dying? Is there any future of Power BI? Shall we go with Microsoft Power BI or shall we start working with any other tool? Is there any professional growth with the Microsoft Power BI? Well, if you are the one who's also looking to answer of these questions, then this video is for you. This video is targeted for all the Power BI professionals and also the people who would like to start their career with Microsoft Power BI. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm gonna give you all the answers. Hi there, my name is Ajay Kumar and I create videos on Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure and now we started creating videos on Microsoft Fabric too. If you want to start your career with Microsoft Power BI, Microsoft Fabric or Microsoft Azure, then this channel is for you. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. All right, let's start with ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a wonderful tool that's gonna help you to answer your most of the questions. You don't need to go on the Google. Also, you can get really formulated answers with ChatGPT. You can also get the coding, DAX code, or maybe you can analyze your data with the help of ChatGPT very easily. But the real question comes, is it going to really replace your Power BI skills or is it going to really replace the Power BI developers? Well, guys, the answer is no. ChatGPT is a helping hand. It is not accurate, but you can formulate your right answer from the ChatGPT if you know how to ask the right questions. This is going to help you to analyze your code or maybe if you would like to get some answers related to your DAX code, etc. But this is not going to replace at all your human intelligence. We are going through the digital revolution. And over here, human intelligence is gonna work with the artificial intelligence. So consider a scenario like I started my career from the SSRS, that was the SQL Server Reporting Services. And that time reports used to be by statistics. Then the Tableau or the Power BI other tool came. And also that time, people were asking so many questions whether they are gonna have their career with SSRS or not. But guess what? In this world as well, we have the importance of the paginated reports, which are basically the SSRS reports only. So don't worry about that. So use ChatGPT as your helping hand rather than thinking that it's gonna completely replace your human skills or maybe the strategy that you make yourself. In the big organizations or even smaller organizations when you start working on gathering requirements, understanding the requirements, understanding the logic, etc., that you need to understand yourself as a Power BI developer or as a data engineer or as a data scientist or any kind of data professional, let's say. So, Formulate those strategies, how to work with it, what kind of design do you need, what kind of templates you need to create over there, and also what are your typical business requirements. That's not going to understand by ChatGPT unless you are going to tell ChatGPT that what you are really looking for. Also, there are so many other tools which are going to generate the different visualization, etc. But still, there is a lot of things that you need to do it yourself. So be assured that it's not going to replace your human intelligence with artificial intelligence. Just use it as your helping hand and it's going to really help you over there. Now let's talk about Microsoft Fabric. Recently also I was getting a lot of questions since the inception of Microsoft Fabric that what's going to happen to Power BI? Is there any scope for Power BI or not? And I have already created certain videos on that. So please don't forget to watch all those videos as well. So what is Microsoft Fabric? Let's suppose you are working in an organization where you have to perform end-to-end -end data analytics and you are using other technologies rather than Microsoft where you have to get the data using another technology then you have to transform the data and also you have to load and visualize the data using the different technologies for example you are using tableau with aws and maybe informatica and some other tools so then there's a lot to ingest over there microsoft fabric is a unified platform where you can fulfill your all data analytics needs at one platform microsoft fabric comes with six different experiences they call them experiences but they are the separate technologies for example, Power BI for data visualization, Data Factory for your data transformation and load, then there are the data pipelines inside that. Then you also have your data lake house where you can ingest any kind of data and can get the data from there. Not only that, you also get the data science and real-time data analytics experience over there. So these are the different products in Microsoft Fabric and which were basically under the Microsoft Azure. Now you don't need to go for the Microsoft Azure subscription or separate subscriptions. Rather than that, you can simply get Microsoft Fabric subscription. And if you would like to know more about Microsoft Fabric and you would like to start your career with Microsoft Fabric, then please do check our list in the description section where you will get to know how you can get started your career with Microsoft Fabric. Now let's come to our question that is, what's gonna to happen to Microsoft Power BI? 
well guys in microsoft fabric as well microsoft power bi is a standalone product it's going to be always there you can get a separate license even without using microsoft fabric if you would like to go there then you can also convert your microsoft premium capacity license to microsoft fabric as well so that totally depends on you if you would like to just continue with your microsoft power bi then you can do that otherwise you can convert into microsoft fabric experience too that totally depends on your organization vision and the goals if in your organization you already have the data lake house all the etl transformation technology or you are already using microsoft azure and power bi separately then definitely you don't need to go for microsoft fabric however you have to analyze it and i'll leave that question to your solution architect or your organization needs that how you would like to do that but be assured that microsoft fabric is not going to steal your job or it's not going to the end of microsoft power bi if you're looking for any of the training programs for Microsoft Power BI, PL300, DP500 or Microsoft Fabric, then please don't forget to connect with us. Till then, keep learning and subscribe to BI Consulting Pro and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any updates. See you in the next video.